Hey guys, so I'm back to uh, give you a quick demo on how to set up the API gateway domain with API Manager. So um, the use case for this is that you have a mule runtime running uh, on bare metal. So it's a, you have a naked mule. It's not running in Cloud Hub. Uh, it's not using any point runtime fabric. You've spun up your own mule runtime instance and you wanna be able to deploy multiple applications to that runtime. So um, when you have the specific use case, you want to make sure that you leverage shared domains. And what the shared domains allow you to do is share one single port across multiple applications. And this generally is, is the use case that needs to be addressed because when you have an HTTP listener, uh, the default is 8081. So if all your users are deploying APIs or applications or proxies with the same port, there will be a port collision and then that deployment will fail. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump into the tooling real quick. So in the background, I have a mule runtime that's up and running. Um, what we can do is go and look at the logs. We can do a tail F um, asterisk, and we can see um, what's going on with that specific runtime, okay? So coming over to the endpoint platform, additionally, we can look at the runtime manager and we can look at that specific server. So that, that server is here, it's registered as a naked mule. Um, it's running, um, there's currently nothing deployed to it. And what we wanna go ahead and do is set up a new proxy. So we'll come over to API Manager and let's go ahead and manage an API from Exchange. So let's just go ahead and use one that I've already um, added to Exchange called Calculator. We're gonna go ahead and set the endpoint with a proxy and then we're gonna select hybrid because we're gonna be deploying this to that on-prem mule runtime. Additionally, we're gonna be deploying this to a mule runtime that's uh, a mule four runtime. And then for the implementation URL, um, we're gonna go ahead and use a um, publicly available SOAP endpoint. It's a calculator uh, SOAP uh, API. We'll paste the implementation URI there. For the path, we'll leave that as is. For the service name, that will be calculator. So we'll paste that here. For the port, that's gonna be the calculator soap. And for the service namespace, we're gonna go ahead and grab the target namespace from up here, okay? And we'll paste that. And then additionally, we wanna go ahead and um, deploy this using HTTP for now. And we wanna make sure that we check the reference user domain box. And then if you if you hover over the little information circle here, it'll tell you that you need to go ahead and deploy the domain from Exchange. So if you click on that link, it'll bring you over to the domain project within Exchange. So this is the domain template. This is what you wanna go ahead and deploy to that runtime before you deploy your project. If we don't deploy this, um, that project will fail to deploy. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is click on download and that'll download that to your machine. And then once we have that downloaded, one thing to keep in mind is that you need to change the name of that download to gateway proxy domain 1.0-mule.domain. So once you have that name change for that specific project, you wanna go ahead and take that and paste that or drop that into the domain folder within your mule runtime. So once that's deployed, you can see that it unpackages it and it registers uh, an anchor file for that domain. So it's up and running now. If we go ahead and jump to the mule runtime logs, you'll see that that domain is, has been successfully started. So it's up and running now. It's that shared domain that anytime a application is deployed to the mule runtime and it references that domain, it'll go ahead and share that, that specific port, okay? Um, one other thing to keep in mind is that with this specific project, you can also import that into Studio. So when you import this into Studio, um, this allows you to make changes to the underlying implementation. So if you wanna change the default port from 8081, you can go ahead and change that within the project, save, export it, and then drop it into your mule runtime again. If you want to deploy this proxy as, or this domain using a HTTPS listener, you'll have to go ahead and comment out the uh, HTTP listener um, up above here that has the proxy listener HTTP. 
and then uncomment this proxy or this HTTP listener down here in addition to the TLS context. And then also you need to um, include the, the key store file and then add this namespace to the namespace up above here. So that I'll probably save that for another video, but for now, let's go ahead and just use the basic HTTP listener um, proxy for this example, okay? Okay, so um, we've deployed the proxy to the mule runtime back over here now um, we've set all this up and because this is checked now when we go ahead and click on save in the background within api manager what it does is it generates a um, a proxy application and this is the proxy application that's going to be deployed to the mule runtime that's running locally so what we're going to do now is click on select target it'll show you your available um, uh, hybrid mule runtimes. In this case, it's just a server. If you have a server group or a cluster, you'd be able to choose those and deploy that application there. But in this case, I just have a, a single mule runtime registered right now. So we'll select that. We'll click on select target. We'll click on deploy. And then it's gonna go ahead, deploy the proxy, start the application. And if everything's successful, it'll be, uh, you know, show you a green um, status circle um, once it's deployed. So. While that's running, we can switch back over here to the meal runtime and we can see that it was successfully deployed and it's also using the domain project for this use case. Okay, so you can see now it's, it's all green here. Um, if we go ahead now and hit the endpoint that's running locally, we should start to see some um, analytics sent back. So you can see here five events and then jumping back to the platform page, if we go ahead and kind of refresh this, um, we should eventually start to see some um, analytics in terms of you know collecting that information from that meal runtime. Okay, so again, hopefully this um, helps give you a sense of how to set up that API gateway domain. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm always here to help. Thanks.